Pisces, my Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces, my Pisces, Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces. What's up, water babies? Wish pop. I'm on the life of a Pisces. Me and my disciple. Are you guys being accepting and being receiving during this time? Is your energy uplifting as it should be? Are you in this place of healing and truly, fully releasing all that shit that doesn't serve you? <laughs> hey, Blue Head, this is your first time to my channel. I'm Mocha. Also, this is your first time to my channel. Look out. I cuss. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can better assist you without cussing. Because me, I'm, I'm going to do that. Okay? Um, to all of my new subscribers, welcome to the family. Y'all will live dysfunctional. We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss, okay? We grow, we love, we share, we enlighten, we evolve, okay? So, you guys, this is uh, simply a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everybody, you guys. Don't try to make that damn shoe fit if it don't fit because if the motherfucker's too big or too small, it's uncomfortable, okay? So, just leave leave what ain't for you and take what is, all right? If you need a personal reading, that information can be found below in the description return and subscribe us familia what's up baby you guys thank you for all the love the likes the shares the subscribes the comments it I y'all I, I be crying so much more than y'all you know ever would even imagine because y'all I'm so humble I, I never had you know I, I I didn't think that I was gonna grow so fast so thank you all you guys it really means so much to me I'm not gonna cry because I'm no sensitive I got a Pisces moon but let's rock all right so we're gonna start off with your intuitive messages for the month of April mid month okay you guys sorry about that that sun is right here and for some reason when I go into the sun it never feels I don't care what camera I have when I go into the sun I literally will go missing in electronics so I'm gonna try to make it work but I have to try to use my light wisely because I was running errands today so I have to get some shit done but here we are okay Pisces the intuitive messages that I got for you all for mid month April was miracles intervention forgiveness Endings, faith, spiritual path, expansion, true feelings, fear of unknown, creator, success, aquatic, legalities, paperwork, obsessive, misfortune, accountability, numerology, science, trust your good, diet change, health. Premonition, solar pre solar plexus, heart chakra, new state, moving, okay? So some of you all, I am feeling the energy. Some of you all um, are kind of questioning about moving to a new state. It is part of your divine path, you guys, because what the things that you've been praying for as far as abundance, as far as a new relationship, just a whole new everything, that renewal that you're praying for, whoever I'm connected with, that is kind of where you'll find it. So things are aligning for you to be where you're supposed to be. Um, some of you all may be in this premonitory state. Some of you all are coming, walking into the gift of premonition. For some of you all, you may have thought it was daydreaming in the past, but you're coming to terms during this time that you are actually having premonitions of things that you are seeing are flashes of things that are to come. It's just about shifting your perception around it so you won't like be expecting something or waiting on something because there's this energy of like being on the tip of your seat, waiting on something to come. Um, but you have this perception of like fear around it or this this perception of like it's kind of like you how can I put it it's a negative perception it's like you want something to come or you're waiting on something to arrive or to move but you also have this sense of negative like a negative feeling around the outcome it's like there's a need to detach from the outcome of things For some of you all, um, you need them to cleanse your home. Some of y'all going to find out that your friends ain't your friends. Mid-month. Some of you all are also um, possibly going to have to be forced to move. But again, it has to do with alignment. Like you... You're being forced to go where you're supposed to go. And I, I'm hearing uncomfortable. So it may be uncomfortable at first, but there's a need to have faith and actually embrace the discomfort because the discomfort is kind of going to surface some energies that are needing to be purged for you to, for you to fully release. 
or see a situation or see um, like a particular judgment around a circumstance, person or a situation a bit differently. It's kind of like you walking in the shoes of someone so you can kind of understand a certain a, cer a certain aspect to something or someone. To assist you in like releasing um, any type of like judgment or malice around the situation. Okay. So that's what I picked up immediately intuitively. All right. As well as uh, with the meditation intuitive messages. All right. So the angel message this month for you guys comes from Archangel Jermio. You got overcoming difficulties. Okay. I'm also hearing ancestors while I'm actually um, holding this card. So some of you all may be finding feathers during this time and your ancestors just want you to know that they're always around you. They are guarding you. They're protecting you. They're assisting you in this period of ascension. Okay. Because for some of you all, it is going to be a bit uncomfortable. All right. So there's a sense of like purity, but your ancestors want you to know that you are taking the right steps and moving forward. All right. Archangel Jeremio, the worst is now behind you. And you are surmounting any previous challenges. So it's about momentum, okay, momentum fearlessly and just knowing, kind of like jumping out there on blind faith at this point, okay? So your spirit message this month. A lot of you all are going to be mid-month April, okay? A lot of you guys are surrounding yourself near nature. Um, I don't know if you all live in the southern hemisphere or the northern hemisphere, but I do know if you live like further down south uh, it is getting a bit warmer okay as we walk into the as we move into the springtime it's officially spring at this point and so for some of you all you may be getting outside for some of you all you have some um some download that is going to be coming some for some of you all this is and for those of you who ask me what's a download it is a, it, it's like information from spirit baby for some of us who have the gift of sight okay for some people they come in the form of dreams for some people who have the gift of premonition or the gift of clear audience okay it may come it's however you connect with spirit and how spirit connects with you uh, but it is a retrieval of um esoteric information okay so for some of you all you are going to be receiving a download regarding some type of heart chakra reunion for some of you all you could also be receiving like synchronistic synchronistics some, like synchronistic signs, okay? For some of you all, you're seeing, some of y'all mid-month are going to be seeing, like, some of y'all are dreaming of different, like, alchemical, um, like, alchemic symbols or, like, geometric symbols during this time. And it does have to do with, like, a DNA coding or a restructuring of, ultimately, your DNA, like... For some of you all, you may be, you, you may get headaches during this time. It has to do... With it, like it's like a pressure headache for some of you all it has to do with the with the expansion of your pineal gland this feels like a message for newer intuitives for people who are going through fresh awakenings mid-month april some of you all may also be um some of you all may be uh, looking to garden during this time, okay? And for some of you all, you may, it's, it, it, I'm hearing harvest, okay, harvest time. So whatever it is that you've been trying to actually grow and see come into fruition, you are going to actually manifest that during this time. It's something of like starting new. So for some of you all, I'm hearing endeavor. So this could have to do with new businesses. For some of you all, if you're waiting for any type of contractual agreements, okay, or anything having to do with life path, like purpose, for some of you all, this has to do, I'm hearing school. So some of you all could also be enrolling in school or getting ready to um, go back to school. For some of you all, this has to do with location. I heard the word location. So some of you all could be looking for a location to actually start a business. I do see you actually finding a place. And for some reason, I heard the word miracle and I also heard intervention. So you may have some form of, some of y'all may even have some type of connection to like a, a form of an earth angel that comes in and assists you in your movement forward. And I feel like this, whomever this person is, for some of y'all, this is an old person. Some of you all have, especially those of you who have like traditional, like some, some, some of you all have family that have some type of like tied to like rituals or like, and I don't feel like these rituals are negative. I feel the energy of like manifestation, like you could be a, like a newer shaman and you're trying to learn like, you know, the law of attraction or how to manifest things. It's something regarding rituals in the woods. I'm hearing full moon, so the next full moon in Libra, uh, I believe on the 19th is going to be very essential for some of you all as far as harvesting things coming to fruition, okay? So I'm hearing 19th, so the 19th will be a very important day for a lot of you all, mid-month April. 
for some of you all, there is some type of alignment coming as far as, as far as it pertaining to your stability, your grounding, okay? For those of you who were having to release situations, okay, and I feel like, yes, it is uncomfortable. <clears throat> yes, it does hurt, okay? For some of you all, this has to do with stability. For some of you all, things could not get off the ground due to some form of like stability, someone being unstable. I don't, I'm hearing mental. So for some of you all, this is mental stability, okay? For some of you all, it definitely has to do with like material, uh, like a material type of or surface level material, okay? For some of you, I'm hearing provider, okay? So for some of you all, um, I'm also seeing... Somebody been praying for their family to reunite. I'm seeing it coming to fruition. Especially if you're dealing with an earth sign. Capricorn towards Virgo. There's a very earthy energy around this. This could be a queen or a king, baby. I definitely feel like for some of you all, you have a telepathic connection possibly to an earth sign, especially if you have children with this person. For some of you all, you're going to find out that you're telepathically connected to your children. Um, first, I'm, I'm speaking for a few of you all. Some of y'all are having synchronistic uh, dreams with your children regarding past life. For some of y'all, you're going to find out that. Um, you know how they say we have many soulmates. Each soulmate come in to teach you something. And for some of y'all, you're going to find out that your children um, is your soulmate. And so you, for some of y'all, your children could have been uh, like a lover to you in the past life. And their lesson in this life was to humble themselves, okay, or was um, to, it's something around abandonment or like quitting. So you could, that your child could have abandoned, like, for some of y'all, your child could be actually, could have been a parent to you in a past life and could have dealt with some type of abandonment or abandoning you. So in this life, this child deals with some form of abandonment. And so it's a need for someone to like balance things out or things coming into alignment. And it does have to do with like past life. Okay. So for some of you all, um, I do see there, there being things aligning on the surface for you and for some of you all i am hearing uncomfortable for some of you all i'm hearing unexpected and for some of you all i'm also hearing um faith so some of you all have literally been praying for this okay for others of you some of you all also have a life path like you have some type of um I don't know what type of empath that is. I'm going to have to do some research on that. I don't know what type of empath that is. If you guys uh, comment, I don't know what type of empath that is that has, that deals with like water science. Like I, if it's what, it's like not really water science, but it has to do with like combustion of like combining like the, like the waters, the elements of like using some type of, it's like, it's like manifesting, okay, or bringing things together with using elements of, like, water and earth, and it has to do with some form of science, okay, I don't, I don't know the exact words for it, you guys, but, um, I'm literally piecing, I'm clear audience, so I heard element, and I heard water, and I also heard earth, so, because my messages sometimes comes through broken, and they come through really fast, sometimes I really have to listen, and just kind of use context clues to put them together, or just throw them out there, so that's why I always say take what resonates, um, for some of you all, there's just like an alignment, like you have aligned all of your chakras during this time, like you're going through some sort of completion of a cycle, like you have... And I feel like this is more like an ascended master's energy, like an ascension, like you're going through some form of ascension or like a cycling after things have like aligned for you, like you're going into a new cycle. For some of you all, this definitely has to do with some form of a spiritual or divine partnership. And it, this could even have to do with business, like it's meant for you to do business with this person or to actually have some type of like um, the blending. Like for some of you all, this could also have to do with like a blended family. Some of you all, I'm hearing fate, faded meeting. So for some of you all, this could also be a faded meeting, like things are aligning for you. Like you may be having a fucking bat. For some of you all also, there's a need for you to, your transportation during this time may be, um, for some of y'all, you could be dealing with transportation issues. But I feel like this also has to do with the alignment of meeting like a soulmate. Like your soulmate could actually be the person, the person who's your life partner could literally be the person who is freaking selling you a damn car. 
So the energies around the mid-month are going to be extremely auspicious, but I do see some form of a balancing, okay? So some of you all could also be seeing 10, 10 during this time, ending cycles, okay? Um, going into different light, going into new life paths, going into new phases, okay, of ascension. For some of you all, some of y'all got a badass crown chakra awakening, and I feel like it's it has to do with... Someone uses fire, like the element of fire, and I've never seen this, but they're showing me this bright, very clearly. Someone uses the element of fire to manifest or to like read people. Um, I feel that you want it, you're wanting to move on your life path and with, like in your, to your life purpose, but you don't really know how to like <laughs> how to like put it on paper. There's a need for you to uh, get help, and I do see things actually coming into alignment for you um, to um, receive that help. I'm also seeing for some of you all, there is some form of like, some of you all, I don't know how you guys believe in like the step in process, but some of you all may be experiencing uh, some form of like a step in, like you agreed in this life to have a step in at a certain point of your life. Uh, maybe in the past, like you had resistance, like resistance um, issues in the past, like resisting change or resisting to actually make a move or resisting to um, fight against like the temptation to be. Um, a procrastinator. I feel like you were in the mode of learning, learning, learning forever. So in this life, things are aligning for you to actually move towards um, the thing that you're passionate about. And I feel like for some of you all, this has to do with a step in. This could also be the partner that you're supposed, like, especially I'm hearing reconciliation. So this could have to do with the reconciliation. For those of you who have spiritual eyes, for those of you who have the eyes to see, you may see like a different aura around your partner and all of a sudden like all of a sudden this person wakes up super conscious on, on, on the right damn page coming and saying the right things there's a need for you to be discerning but not to have your wall up because you need to trust you trust that your manifestations can come true things only grow as much as you believe that it will you understand the answers are always within you it's within your belief period okay period <laughs> let's get it. All right, so let's talk about love. Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful Posse? Posse. In love from mid month April. What messages do you have? Okay. Movement forward. Okay, so some of you guys are moving forward out of situations where you felt trapped. Okay, I feel like for some of you all, maybe in this place, place of seeing a lot of spiders during this time, these spiders are actually for some of y'all, you have to look up your spirit animal because for some of you all, you do have a spirit animal that is a spider, and it does have to do with abundance. Movement forward for some of you all, your health. Okay, checking on your health for some of you all. You're untying yourself out of situations, any type of love deals, business deals, okay, that make you feel or shaking your, shake, uh, pretty much like question, make you question your feelings or your uncertainty around, you know, your stability. For some of you all, this is about coming back together possibly with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like you love this person, however, you just don't want to be. You, you don't want to be back entrapped in the entrapped in a toxic situation that you worked so hard to move yourself away from. So for some of you all, you kind of coming out of this place of feeling as if you're in limbo. I do feel like there is a lot of passion with this person. And for some of you all, this could be an earth sign that you were very passionate about possibly in the past. For some of you all, this could have been a situation where you feel like this person could have left you stuck or stagnant or you was kind of looking at this situation, looking at a person with like judgment okay now you could have possibly gone through something like where you had to possibly live this person's circumstance or what they could have told you about like you or for some of you all this is about your dreams you could be dreaming a uh, spirit could be allowing you to see inside another person's world their inner child from a different perception to give you a different perception to move forward okay on some form of coming together with the offer that is passionate and it is looks to be stable here with this uh father of pentacles y'all you know, I'm going to pull the tea because if they broke, broke, I'm going to say this. Run for, run for cover. <laughs> they ain't got no shimani. 
you know, and when you understand that abundance kind of comes, you know, with you as well as your mindset and the energy in which you bring, because you are what you attract. So you walk, when you walk in the seat of spiritual abundance, then you know that I am, you, you understand the great I am. So you don't even worry about those things because you know, it's coming for some of you all, you have to remove yourself from a person due to them having a lack mindset. And for some of you all, this person is coming back changed like a blink of a second. It's like, and for some of you all, this could have to do with that step in process as well. Some of y'all just don't trust it. Like, no, nah, I ain't going to be tied back up in that web. Okay. This could have to do with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or uh, a Capricorn towards Virgo. Could also have to do with the uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I definitely feel like there is a lot of love in this situation. There is love. I felt like there wasn't a whole lot of communication in the past. I also felt the energy of someone really kind of overthinking because there wasn't a lot of communication in the past. So someone was always left feeling as if they was an option, really ultimately not knowing that this person really didn't know how to give you what they what you wanted them to give you. Okay, Pisces, this could be you or the other person. But I definitely feel like like there's this energy of having to choose between two. Hmm. Some of y'all have a stable offer that's gonna that's that could possibly be coming from either fire and earth or fire and water. It does look to be a stable offer. This also looks to be somebody's uh some someone's child's mother or father. And for some of you all. This is love happening unexpectedly. New love, okay? Possibly with the damn Leo, all right? But I definitely feel like for some of you all, you're going to make the choice during the mid-month of April to choose the Leo, or the damn Leo is going to choose you. Or for some of you all, this has to do with newness. Some of you guys are going to completely cut off the past. You guys are in this energy of, I don't want the past. Done with it. Flying way fucking fat past the past mocha. For some of you all, you're cutting pop. Some of y'all cutting off a Leo due to the fact that this person really don't know how to communicate. And I feel like you just focus on movement forward. And because you choose to make that damn blind faith move and jump off the damn cliff, you get a new beginning. I also feel like some of you all are going to be hearing back. I'm hearing third week. So for some of you all, this has to do with the third week of April. You will be hearing back from whatever job that you were looking to hear from. I believe I'm hearing March to April. So this could have been at the end of March. You are going to hear back from the job the third week of April. Um, for some of you all, you got a new beginning because you chose to make that damn, take that damn leap of faith. And you chose to trust in that damn blind faith, even when it comes to reconciling with someone who you have a child with, I do see it actually flourishing and being something solid and being something that's stable. However, you're going to have to trust the process. I feel that you really need to actively communicate and don't communicate from a place of malice. Whatever was not, if you keep doing the same shit and it's not working for you, what can you do differently? Because change starts within the self. Period. Okay. So I do see for some of you all, you are going to kind of be internally confident and just choose to keep your options open. Okay. I definitely see uh, you keep, you wanting to keep the, the lines of communication open. You want to be able to communicate healthy. Okay. But I do see you just ultimately want harmony in a situation, possibly after some type of third party or somebody walking away from someone in the past who, uh, for some of y'all, it really was a third party. And for some of you all, it wasn't a third party. This person just has this. I feel like for some of y'all, this for you have was dealing with someone who was trying to hold on to you giving you promises and hopes of something solid because this person kind of felt the disconnect and felt you wanting something new for some of y'all this person that already dreamed of your damn new beginning but you the one when standing your own damn way fighting yourself when your dreams your ancestors god your next door neighbor your kids everyone's giving you these answers and for some of you all you're not trusting your intuition because and i don't even feel like for some of y'all it's not you trusting your intuition but some of y'all i just feel like it's just comfort, okay? Some of y'all just could definitely involve a Sagittarius, okay? I and for some of y'all, Aerie, okay, let me tell y'all who here. I hate the damn stuff, but let me let me get, finish my spiel, then I'm gonna tell y'all who here. I definitely feel like this has to do with a divine partnership, okay? For some of y'all, this has to do with the cancer, okay? But I definitely feel like this is more so about movement, okay? Things moving forward in divine timing, that alignment, okay? And I definitely feel like for some of you all, you have a stability. Have, have a fight. There's a fight going on between the heart and the mind. But it's one that is of recognition that is going to surface that shadow self of not trusting that lack mindset of what uh, of what you don't have or what this person doesn't have. There's this, there, there's this spirit needs you, y'all, to jump off the cliff and just trust and move on faith. Because God is saying, if you just jump, baby, I got you. I got you, got you. 
some of you all, I don't know who this is for, but this deity wants to come. And if you want to know what deity it is, darling, I really feel that like whoever I am connecting with has some type of connection with um, May Mayat. They also have this connection with thought. thought. They also have a connection to Isis as well. There, it's offering time, I'm hearing. So whomever is connected to these deities or who's made some type of uh, deal with the deity, especially when it comes to finances, I do see some form of a harvest. But for some of you all, you really need to research what it is because some of y'all made a deal with a damn deity in from a naive place. You really don't know what this damn deity requires. You didn't even think to ask. You just wanted what you wanted. And understand that deities, they they have this they have this knowing, but each one understand they're not from this time so everything that you are when you're making deals with anything and anybody during this time make sure you got a clear understanding but whoever i'm speaking to about these deities i feel as if it's kind of like a sense of i'll let you make it like the i feel of i feel the energy of i'll let you make it before but now i i'm gonna need me me okay so whomever that's for they're telling me you watch me so Y'all, y'all might want to research and make sure you're ready to offer up, okay? You guys, this is what I have for the month of April, mid-month. If you need that person, y'all hit me up. I love y'all so very, very, very much. Comment, like, share, subscribe. Let me know how this resonates. I will see you all for the month of May. And if you need that reading, hit me up. I'm going to be running some specials, y'all, because I've been feeling really good. I'm just in this happy space, you know? You guys, and I really want to share all of that with you all. Stay loving. Stay receptive. Stay woke, stay prayed up, all right? And you guys, stay fresh to death and fly always because you are beautiful Pisces. And don't you ever forget it. Love y'all. Namaste.